Uh, I am from Uruguay, South America. I grew up in Pan de Azúcar, that is a very little town. The translation is like sugar red, it's really funny. <laughs> and then I moved to Montevideo to study civil engineering at the okay. University of Montevideo. Okay, awesome. And so uh, when you were graduating, how was that transition into getting a job? And how was that when you graduated? Well, um, it was pretty hard actually because when when I graduated, I I wasn't working. For for most of the students here, especially in engineering, and they are used to to be working when they graduate, but that wasn't my case. Uh, when I when I like did the the thesis like the the, the time that you like show your thesis and you they say okay now you are an engineer uh that was one of the unhappiest moments in my life because oh. there was like oh shit <laughs> i don't know what to do right now i mean um you i had like for the rest for the the the, the, the rest of my life before it was like okay now you go to school primary school secondary school now you go to, to the university, you get an internship, you get another internship. Everything was so smoothly and so well planned. But then there was no plan. And I had no plan because I, I started to feel like from the fourth year in my career, in my, in my degree here in Uruguay, if you study engineering, you have to study for five years. So it was quite a long journey. And from the third year, that started to be like, very, I don't know. I I was starting to feel that this wasn't this wasn't my place, uh, mm -hmm. but I was too afraid to to leave and to and to start another degree. Uh, when I realized that I wasn't a good engineer fit uh, from from a personality, um, the the way I was looking life, um, what I didn't know was that when I decided to study engineer was a good option, was a good decision, but then it wasn't anymore because I started to, to explore other things and I became really interested in other things. So it was natural to, to change, but nobody told me that it's, it's okay to change. It's okay to, to have different interests throughout your life. Yeah, so the, the transition was hard because I, I graduated and I had no job. And I was what here people call Nini, that you don't study and you don't work. And it was really frustrated because I, I was accustomed to be always like a very good student, uh, like a person who do all the good things, you know. And then I was like this... I, I was judging myself a lot. Uh, I actually didn't know what to do. I, I was I, I went to UIF. This was the first thing I did after graduation graduation. And I was talking with many people about the, all this problem. And somebody recommended me a book that is Designing Your Life. I have it here because it's a very good book. Uh, and I read it and something that I did that I think is really good and maybe people who might watch this can do and might be useful is a mind map. Uh, when I was saying in UIF, UIF is like the whole thing why we are here. It's a program from the D school at Stanford, the uh, design school at Stanford, who shines the students who want to be change makers and they teach us innovation entrepreneurship. Uh, and I was really interested in innovation, so I I had a like a big blank white page, uh, like sheet of paper, um, and I put in the in the center innovation, and I started to to draw a rose with different words that were related, like okay innovation, but I was also interested in emotional intelligence. I was also interested in creativity. Um, I did like a whole map with a lot of words that I was really interested in. And then this was really, really magical because after this mind map, I started to move, you know, I was really stuck. And then I started to move, like doing online courses, reading books, 
meeting with people. Um, in about six months, I started to work at the University Center of Innovation and Leadership in my, in my university. Um, mm -hmm. from a very low position job, but with the mindset that there was, this was the right place to start, you know, because it was very aligned with what I wanted. That was innovation, entrepreneurship, and creativity. That is, yeah, that's definitely not linear. Um, but I, I really resonate with that because I'm also studying engineering. And actually once I, um, joined UIF, so my third year as well, I realized, I was like, I don't know if engineering is for me. And so I'm finishing my, my degree right now. It's my fifth year. Um, I think I need to do a mind map. <laughs> and I probably, I want to read that book, Design Your Life, because, yeah, it is, it's hard. Because, yeah, once you get out of school, it's like you, you know, it was, like you know, like you said, secondary education, university, but then now it's up to you and you make yeah. your, you make that. Um, so how was the time when you were not working? Um, how did you like keep yourself motivated? Um, how are you feeling during that time? Or what was like um, in your, like your hardest days? What did you do to keep yourself going? Yeah. Um... I, I am the, the kind of person that don't know how to, I mean, I, I am now working on that, but I don't know how to be like doing nothing, you know? So I was doing a lot of stuff. Like, for example, I started to study music. I, oh, wow. I joined some saxophone classes. This was something that I wanted to explore. And I had no idea of music. I mean, I was terrible. <laughs> uh, I said, okay, like, okay, I mean, I have nothing to do. I, maybe I can do something that might be interesting. So I joined music classes. I also joined drama classes. Um, I also did some Coursera uh, courses. Um, did some, like, writing. I I was really... I, 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 was, I was feeling really bad. Like, if I read, I, I actually read that maybe like two or three weeks ago. I, and I was like, oh, shit. How, how, how I could be like this? Like, I mean, I was really impressed about, um, like, the, the, how I was feeling about myself. Like, how I was writing about myself, you know. And... And I think it was like all the all the fears, all the the disgusting, all the all these not very nice emotions that I was having during my my five year degree. But there were like maybe under a, a carpet or something. Uh, they were like hidden. But hi, Lu. <laughs> I see there's Lucia in the in the light. Oh. Uh, I don't know how to be uh, an Instagram <laughs> influencer and waving at the people and stuff. Maybe sometimes I, I, I like forget that I'm doing this. I'm just talking. So I think it, it was like writing. And there was also like supporting and uh, holding on people like friends. Uh, but sometimes I think it's just like you need to be with yourself. And write or paint or whatever but just feel that you are feeling bad and i mean embracing it because sometimes we we don't want to see our sh shadows uh, i don't know if that in english <laughs> exists but there's a really nice concept that is about like the shadow and most people want to live the whole life in light but we are shadow and we are light and we need to embrace this. And sometimes there are moments in life that you need to to be there with you and uh, just accept <laughs> radically that you are not feeling well. Wow. Yeah, that is definitely something um, that also resonates with me. Like that, I, I like the part where you said like 
leaning on your friends. Definitely um, during like my hard times, I my friends are um, always there for me. But yeah, being with yourself is um, very powerful too. Like because at the end of the day, it's just you, and you got to make you happy. And so to do that, you kind of have to, like you said, writing or painting or however it makes sense. Thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah, so I have. You. Um, so if what is maybe a piece of advice or a lesson that you would tell yourself back then when you were graduating that you want to share with, um, the students who are graduating now? Well, I think that, um, there's something that I learned like very recently that is about the power of breathing, you know, um, when, Sometimes, like, we don't allow us to, to feel bad um, because we are not breathing, like, our emotions, you know? You, we are not feeling with ourselves. And if, if, if I could go to 2017 and, and say something to, to this, like, little Romy, that it wasn't very little, <laughs> uh, I would say, like, okay, just breathe. And... Uh, and embrace this bad, bad because you are judging yourself. But maybe it's like less about judging yourself and more about accepting that you are not feeling well. Because at that moment, there were many opportunities that I intuitively said no. And I am so grateful that I said no. For example, there were opportunities to do a master. A master that I had no idea it was about, it was about but, and it was a, a really nice way to say like, okay, now I have another thing to, to get into, I have a plan, I have a, a schedule, and you know, life will get well, but what happens after the master, you will be in a very shitty situation again. Um, on the other side, there were like, not very, like, very good fit jobs for me that appeared, and I was like, okay, let's take this. And then I said, okay, this, is, this isn't for you. I mean, and when you breathe and you like, you are with yourself, you are with your emotion and you say, okay, I feel bad, what do I feel? And there are like, there's a whole spectrum of emotions that at least for myself, nobody teach me how to, to recognize my emotions. It was like a very personal, a journey mm -hmm. and say, okay, I feel frustrated. I feel embarrassed of myself. Mm -hmm. um, I feel very anxious. Uh, why I feel like that, you know? And, and tell somebody that, 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 that maybe it's not just somebody. I, I remember there was uh, one friend that she, the only thing that she did was listening. And this was the most powerful thing that she could do for me you know like just hold the space for you you know it's not about like the i didn't need like a, a job opportunity i didn't need like okay read this book or watch this netflix series no i just didn't just uh, need like uh, this space to talk or this google drive to write you know and there's always like when when you like really embrace this moment and you are really feeling with yourself you you start to to learn more about yourself and after that you will be taking better decisions uh you will be more conscious uh conscious <laughs> about life about like that we are in a very i, I don't know i mean sometimes i think like okay this is a miracle you know like being here being alive um having for example you know uh, warm water to to shower having food having friends having your family having like all the things and people and nice stuff that you have and when, when you start like to to be with yourself then like the whole ecosystem and the whole world like start to 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 make more sense um yeah i don't know if that helps <laughs>